Okay, so we're in the dark room now, and um, my friend Camelia's work is here. Uh, she specializes in lift prints, and too shy to be on camera, so I'm going to be on camera for her. Okay, so basically a lift print is a silver gelatin print that uh, uses a very a uh, different type of developer. It, it's called an infectious development. But it basically it's a developer that you overexpose at the enlarger and when you process, you, you process and you look at the print, at a certain point you snatch the print and you go into the stop bath that stops the development and then goes into the fix. And then depending on what kind of paper uh, we're using, and today we're using Ilford Warm Tone paper, um, which is giving us a kind of a greenish brown look, okay? So this particular paper is unique in the sense that you have to pull the print before the snatch point. And I don't, that may not make sense, but the reality is this print will explode in the fix. So you have to determine when you pull the print here in the developer. Okay, a different paper would be uh, Mako. This is a Mako paper. You see how much warmer this Mako paper is to the Ilford paper right here. So Camellia likes to use this paper, and I do too. And with this paper, we we will um, bleach and tone it and make it look quite beautiful. With the Mako paper, you see how pink it is. It already goes to a color. And um, they are quite beautiful, but um, I prefer to work with the, with the Ilford paper. Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge proponent of the Ilford photographic line of papers. They are the last people standing in my book, and I like their, their commitment to black and white photography. So this one here, already toned, probably a finished print. Very pink, very uh, nice looking color. This one, you see how it's, it, it's not toned properly yet, but oh boy, oh boy, wait till you see this tone. Um, it'll, it'll go really beautiful and we can make this one look like this one. So um, I'm going to go through the steps of doing that. So first off I'm going to move from the fix. So these are setting in water right now. So basically for lift printing you need an enlarger, you need a negative, a developer, which right now we're using, um, we are using the um, Mako, sorry, I'm just looking here, okay, sorry about that. We're using the LD20 lift developer, which is here. And we bought this at B&H Photo. We could buy it at Freestyle Photo in, in California, but in, in, since we're in Toronto, the closest supplier is B&H in New York. And this is where we buy this chemical from. And they're very prompt and you can get this chemical. And basically with two of these, we have enough material to do one and a half days worth of printing. So this is really, this developer is really seasoned now. Um, Camellia has been here for two days printing and she's already like 10 negatives into the job. So I'm gonna make a lift print with some pretty old developers. This is old, what they call old brown, you know, which is a stupid name, but that's what they call it. And so you go into your developer, you go into your stock, and then your fix, fix, this is a wash. Then she's gonna wash these prints for another hour, and then tomorrow we're gonna to tone them. Okay? Good. Okay, now we're gonna say. Okay, we're rolling. Tell me when. we're rolling. Okay, so now we're in safe flight. I'm at my larger workstation and right here is our developing tray. So 
Uh, with lift prints, you have to overexpose. Uh, and that puts tone into the highlight regions, and then you pull the print for the blacks. Today we're using Ilford Warm Tone, so um, we're going to develop a little bit to inspection, and then we're going to put it in the stock. Then we're going to put it in the fix, and it'll explode over here in the fix. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to get my paper. And 8 by 10 sheet of paper, go to the enlarger, and basically hitting the exposure. Now I'm going to dodge areas here uh, while, I, while I print. Now in lift printing, dodging is very important because the more exposure you put on a print, the flatter it will be. The more you, the less exposure will increase the contrast. So it's counterintuitive. You would think that, you know, uh, it would be the opposite, but it's not. Uh, so the more you expose, it will create an area of tone, which we want. And then by dodging, which I'm going into the print, I'm lightening an area, and this area of interest is going to be explode with contrast. Okay, so there's a fit, that was a 50 second exposure. So uh, we are going to do a, almost a five minutes, so we'll start and then we'll stop, okay? Because Phil, you don't want to be filming this the whole time. So I'm putting on gloves. And paper's been exposed. I'm going into the lift developer. This will take upwards of three to five minutes. I do not go longer than that. I know that there are experts that have written books about this that talk about going 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I'd rather have my teeth drilled out than stand here for 25 minutes on a test strip. So this paper's been exposed for 50 seconds um, and now we're going to put it into the developer. We have to remember it's been, it's already been used by Camellia for almost a day and a half. So this developer is kind of slow right now, so uh, we'll catch up to me when we get closer to the uh, final. So we got the paper into the developer, and just like any developer, we are agitating uh, the print. Like any process, we want to get chemistry on the print. Okay, Phil, you're going to... Okay. Okay, so we're, we're probably a few minutes in. Like I said, this is old developer, so we're kind of splicing this tape so you're not sitting here bored waiting while the whole thing comes up. But I don't know if you can see that, probably not, but I'm starting to see the image. And this is Ilford Warm Tone. And it's a funny paper for lift printing. It's my favorite paper for lift printing, but um, the experts say it doesn't lift properly. And that's okay, um, because I don't think the experts have really figured out how to make this thing work. And what's interesting is, is that you're starting to see the blacks emerge. And you're looking for the very first hint of the dark images starting to formulate as black. So in a regular lift print, you'd be sitting here, and right about now, the print starts to explode. And within about a five to ten second period, the print goes from flat as flat, 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 ugly to really high contrast. And you have to pull it and snatch it. With this paper, it comes on very, very slow. And what you're looking for is the black just starting to emerge properly. So all I'm seeing right now is just a mess of gray. And I'm waiting for the hint of black to start showing. And when I see that, I know that it's, get, it's ready to go over to the stop bath to stop the development. And then what happens, which is the only paper I know that does this, it explodes in the fix. And we're not going to be able to show that to you because that's, that's pretty uh, low light here. But right now, you see the flowers starting to come out. 
uh, I can start seeing black. So I'm about to pull the print, and I think I'm going to pull it pretty soon because I'm starting to see black all over the image. It's still flat, 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 ugly, but I'm now going to stop it. I'm going to go into the stop bath. Okay, development has now stopped for all intents and purposes. So this is what it's supposed to look like, and this is what it looks like now. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see how this is contrasting. This is flat, flat, flat. With normal lift printing, this would look like this. But because it's Ilford Warm Tone, it doesn't look like it's very flat. Now we're going to go into develop uh, into the fix, and this is where the magic starts happening. Two flips of the hand, and here is an old one, and you can see the contrast has exploded in the fix. And it's starting to look like this one. And I thought that one was too dark. This one may be too light, but that's a beautiful fun of lift printing. So uh, we can turn the lights on now. Okay. This is where we were, and this is where we are now with this lift print. And um, I think this is pretty cool right now. So this is the blacks are too dark. Here we, 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 we pulled the print a little bit differently, but it, it's, it's a different looking print, but they're both good. And uh, Camilio tomorrow will uh, work on these and she'll tone them and she'll decide how much sepia, how much bleaching, how much selenium. And it's part of an ongoing series she's working on. So uh, this show is showing in Utah in, in, in two months. You know, and, and we are now in February 2014. So by the time you see this video, the show will already been up and gone. But the reality is uh, lift printing is a lot of fun. Uh, it's it's kind of complicated, but it's also quite easy, and it's, it's, it's a hell of a lot of um, uh, fun to work with different papers and different chemistries. Okay, so uh, Camellia is too, uh, too shy to be on camera, so that's okay. But this is her portfolio getting ready for the Utah show. So these are Ilford Warm Tone prints. And uh, they're very small, delicate little prints, and you can see how it's, it looks a little bit flat, but it's supposed to look like this. Um, different images. We haven't toned yet, so once she tones these prints tomorrow, they're going to pick up another level of, um, another level of complexity. And that's what's so beautiful about lift printing and any silver gelatin printing is, is that you're not done until you're done. And in this case, we're halfway done. And most people, you know, who lift print or the experts who lift print, they get this result and they say, well, that's not good, so I don't like it. Well, actually, you haven't maybe gone far enough, right? So what we do is we make always a lot of extra prints, right? Uh, this is a, a standard procedure with anybody that works with me, printmakers, anybody that comes into this place, we make a lot of extra prints because we are never sure. We're not experts. We, 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 we experiment a lot. So she's going to go in the dark room tomorrow and do a lot of toning. For example, here you have two different types of prints. One's completely dark and looks like shit, and one that is looks normal, and then we have another lighter one and a couple lighter like this. So the idea is, why would we throw this one out? Okay, because somebody will like this print. Maybe Camellia, maybe she won't. But unless you push the envelope and see your prints and see what's possible. Um, anybody that says, oh, I, I, I know what it should look like, is, I think they're full of crap. I, I think that you should, you know,
push the boundaries a little bit. So this is what Camellia does. She pushes the boundaries with her exposures, and this may look perfect to somebody, these two, but this one may be the winner. How do you know? You don't know until you actually make the print, you actually tone it, you put it in a mat, and you sit back and say, you know what, this is the winner, or this is the winner. But how do you know? How do you know which one's the winner? Uh, it's by making extra prints and playing with the media. So this is the Ilford Warm Tone, which all the experts, experts, uh, say does not lift well. Well, uh, I, I tend to disagree. I think it's the nicest paper that lifts, or at least it's one of the nicest ones. So all the experts uh, like to go to more of these other prints that explode in the dark room and they get the pretty colors right away. And I, I like the fact that these aren't pretty colors. They're, they're very muted, they're very uh, dull, but wait till they get the, the toner on. And wait till she starts bleaching them. Wait till she starts adding different colors with the selenium, with the iron blue, with the um, uh, sepia. It, the, the world is open to her with this.